Today for our prayer, I want to spend time in the first chapter of Job. I've been preaching on it for the last month, but I've been dealing with the ecological wonder of God speaking to Job out of the whirlwind. But today I want to be in the first chapter of Job. In that chapter, evil happens to Job again and again and again. That first we find out that enemy marauders have come and stolen all of his cattle, his livestock. And then some more marauders come and take off with what remains of his business and his servants. And then tragedy upon tragedy, a violent wind kicks up and the house in which all of his children are together falls in on them and kills them all. And that image of all of this tragedy coming to Joel and Job and his family. And coming because of a bet, a game, a challenge. That people's lives and livelihoods, their family, is destroyed because somebody wanted something else. So I want us to stop and pray today. So I invite you to close your eyes, to breathe in deeply and to let out your breath. I invite you to breathe in and release your breath. I invite you to breathe in and breathe all the way down to the pit of your stomach. Fill your lungs full of air and then release it letting go, letting out all of that that's in there. God, we invite your presence with us now. Your presence with us now. As we think about all of the tragedies and the evil and the capricious nifts of fate that we are experiencing. As I think about this story in the first chapter of Job, I can't help but pray for your people in Sri Lanka where the rain is causing floods. And your people in India and Pakistan and Indonesia who are experiencing such heat where the heat and the humidity is so bad that to go outside if you are not in the best shape of your life and even if you are in the best shape of your life can harm you. And I think about those places because we know that what is happening now isn't the once in a year once in a hundred year flood that this is the beginning of what is coming that is worse because there are people among us generations of people among us in power who chose a path of capitalism who chose a path of industrialization that is leading to the killing of our planet and leading to the death of people who had little to no impact in the creation of the destruction. And so God, we pray, we pray for those people who are experiencing such hardship because of the climate. But we also pray, pray to give us the courage to challenge and to transform what we don't think is possible. 
to change the hearts and minds of people so that we can transform how we live so that we all can live. And Holy One, we pray for those who are experiencing conflict like Job's family ended up in. Places where the evil is brought because one group of people decide they need another group of people's land. So we pray for the Palestinians and we pray for the Ukrainians and we pray for the Yemenis and the displaced Syrians. We pray for those places of conflict where it isn't necessary. We pray for those people to come who can show us a way out, who can lead us to a peaceful resolution, who can strengthen the courage who can strengthen the people who are facing such cruel and unusual circumstances. And Holy One, we turn here to the United States and we pray, we weep for all of the gun violence that happened in this last month, in the, since the beginning of the year. Our hearts are broken as every day we turn on the news and there's another mass shooting, another group of people killed. Sometimes they're caught in the crossfire of someone unhappy with a gun. And sometimes it's malicious evil that has driven a person to believe that because someone is different from them, they deserve to die. God, you need to show us and teach us how to speak out and speak up. You need to show us how to transform the system that believes it's okay to fight with a gun, that believes it's okay to treat someone who has a different color skin as if they are disposable. God, we need your presence to bring comfort to those experiencing the pain of this evil. But we also need you to bring the people who can disrupt this pattern, who can challenge us to change and transform what doesn't have to be. Give us the courage, the will, and the ability to do something to make this place better and safer for all of your children. And Holy One, we pray for those in our own lives who are experiencing that fate where bad things are happening one on top of the other for those people who are facing illness who are facing the loss of a job who are facing death who are facing addiction who are struggling with depression and mental illness Holy One, we pray for those in our lives who are in that place of not feeling like there's a way forward. Holy One, show us how to be your presence in their midst. Amen.